Steven Williams here, and I just wanted to check in with you guys, let you know that I'm still drinking distilled water and I'm still noticing great health benefits from doing so, uh, steady energy levels and all the other benefits that I've talked about uh, before on past videos. Uh, but I wanted to make this video real quick and kind of just answer a question that I get a lot, and that is, what is distilled water? Because uh, I tell my friends and family that I've been drinking distilled water and that I believe that it's had a good impact on my health. And their response usually is, isn't that like what you put in an iron or they put it in their car batteries and they don't really understand exactly what distilled water really is. And so distilled water uh, is basically just pure water. Uh, as long as you run it through a carbon filter first and then distill it, and then you could run it through a post carbon filter afterwards, just to make sure that you get out all the the VOCs is what the carbon will capture that can escape through the distillation process. So basically to distill water, you boil water, that water turns into steam, and then you capture the steam and that turns back into water. So once, the, once you boil it and it turns into steam, it leaves all of the inorganic minerals and all the crap and the garbage out of the water inside the distiller. The only thing that boils besides the water is something called VOCs. Uh, you could look those up, but the carbon filter will actually capture the VOCs. So all distillers come with carbon filters already. So if you're gonna distill water at home, then you know that it's gonna be pure water. As long as the carbon filter isn't too old and then you have a, a decent distiller, you should get water that comes out with zero parts per million of dissolved solids. And so you get a TDS meter that from Amazon, it's like 13 bucks, that will tell you the total dissolved solids in your water. And so distilled water is basically just pure water. Um, it's the only water that nature makes. It basically, rain is pure water. Um, it picks up stuff when it falls through the atmosphere like pollution and everything but when the earth creates it it's pure water uh, so because the water evaporates goes into the sky turns into fog or mist uh, clouds and then the condensation comes down and you get rain and, and that's what feeds all the plants and everything and and that's basically the newest water that the earth makes the oldest water that the earth makes or the oldest water that exists on Earth is seawater. And as you guys know, you if you drink seawater, it will kill you. And so basically you have the freshest water, which is, you know, pure distilled water. And then the streams, it just starts getting older and older as it goes through the process. You have the, the fresh spring, it's at least closest. And then it comes down through the river, and then it goes into lakes then you end up in the ocean. And so kind of as it goes, it picks up dirt. In other, other words, in, inorganic minerals that our body has a really hard time with. And then, you know, companies who are trying to sell us products, they tell us how good these minerals are for us. And yes, minerals are very good for us, but what they don't tell us is we need our minerals from plants. So the plants take the inorganic minerals from the dirt, from the water, and they add light to those through photosynthesis and then they turn it into a living um, organic mineral that our body could use and so you know i just from my personal experience i have noticed a huge difference in my overall well-being from when i switched to drinking distilled water and then just getting my nutrients from fruits and vegetables and plants so, um, you know, I'm just one example here. There's a bunch of others. I've seen YouTube videos of people who have been drinking distilled water for 40 years and they look like they're doing amazing. So I'll have to put a link. I'll put a link in this video of one person in particular uh, who has been drinking distilled water for 40 years. She's uh, looks amazing, way younger than her actual age. And it's just incredible. So anyhow, that's kind of my update for now. I will make some more videos about chlorine and fluoride and sodium and, and all the other stuff that's inside water. Uh, and I'll continue to tell you my progress. Uh, like I said, this isn't 
I'm not trying to sell you guys anything. I'm just letting you guys know that distilled water has had really a really good impact on my health. And I feel like I need to share that with you guys. Um, if you'd like, you could test it out. I bought some distilled water at the store um, at Rite Aid. I think it was like $1.20 per gallon. And you're supposed to drink about a gallon a day uh, if you really want to get that distilled water flushing through your system and cleaning everything out. So anyhow, that's where I'm at right now. Until next time, take care.